focus. <laughs> Sweet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, this is Happiness by the Mile. My name is Shelby, and I also have a dog. Her name's Dakota. She's pretty heckin' cool. It's that swag, it's that splash, one wrong move, that's And we like to make stuff about trucking. So this is the whole trucking content channel, and hopefully you guys like it. Anyways, to the point, this is going to be my first vlog in quite a while and I know that 90% of my viewers generally like this content the best so hopefully this one's going to be a good one and I think so because I really want to let you guys know about my new venture which is called Happiness by the Virtual Mile. I've started playing American Truck Simulator, I've only played it twice so far but if you follow me and you've been following kind of that new channel, which there's only one video on it right now, so it's it's obviously not bumping or anything. Oh no, I'm so bad at this. Oh crap, we're gonna like roll over here. Are these like, whatever. I just ran on the red light. This ain't my first rodeo. I hit him! But my last trip that I did was actually down this very highway that I'm on right now. So first and foremost, you need to know that I'm on my way from Portland, Oregon to Dallas, Texas. And I've stopped here on US 6 at the, I think it's called the Thai Fork rest area. Um, it's a pretty neat little rest area and I really, really like it. Currently it's under construction, so there's not a lot available, but it's a really neat rest area if you ever get the chance. Also, this is one of my favorite routes because it's just so gosh darn beautiful. Anyways, I'm going US 6 to 191 to 491 to 40 and then to Dallas. Um, so I'm going to try to get what I can along the way. I'm only one person today, so uh, hopefully uh, BCAM is kind of satisfied with what I was able to do. Um, and if you want, guys, please feel free to give me some pointers. But I have some super exciting stuff that I'm just like dying to tell you. And um, stick around because I think you guys will really like it. And uh, I like the new direction I'm kind of taking the channel. So uh, there'll be more vlogs in the future. And I hope this one is heckin' sweet because I love this route. First things first, I actually have to go inside. I, um, I have like a little pouch here and <laughs> I keep all my stuff in it, like my hairbrush, my toothbrush, things like that. And I go into rest areas and I get ready for the day. It's not necessarily the best thing, but um, sometimes it's what I have to do. And I can't really stop at a truck stop right now because I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna have to do that later to take a shower. But you know, sometimes this is just the reality. This is what you gotta do when you're on the road. And so, I'm gonna go run in, do some of that, and I think we're gonna get on the road because I really gotta get going. Okay, before we get to the main course of this video, which is of course the potatoes. Hey, what's um, and don't mind me, I'm hiding from the sun. It is very bright and very hot out here and I burn like a pale kid because I am a pale kid <laughs> long story short the whole point of this video is not just to compare um, American Truck Simulator and like the real world which I have to say uh, this is pretty legit like that game is pretty legit with all the places that I've shown you and all the similarities in it it just makes the game so cool but first and foremost I really, really, really want to talk about some of the concerns that people have had lately with the channel um, and me actually getting sponsors now, which was never an intent not to do, but I was always extremely picky and I've always been one to let everyone know that if I was going to get any kind of collaboration or partnership or sponsorship or anything like that it would be someone that I feel like one I already either use their product or believe in their philosophy or their company or something like that um, 
this is also goes along the same lines of why I won't explain like certain things like what type of lights are on my truck because I don't know if they're good lights. I don't want somebody to just go out and buy stuff because I have it. I want to only promote things that will help people and are good for our community and possibly somebody's wallet, you know, <laughs> or something like that. Um, and in this case, Shell, my, my very first sponsorship that I've actually accepted, they have great oil for my trucks and for your trucks too. And after um, looking at some of the stuff that they have um, on statistics and the benefits of using their oil, especially using the full synthetic, the T6 heavy duty engine oil over the, the combination one. I'm not very technical with this obviously, but I'm really excited because being in extreme temperatures like I am, being from the PNW, going to North Dakota, also going to places like this in the freaking desert. Um, it gets, like temperatures are just crazy. And I think I'm just really excited to see, you know, the results of how, um, you know, temperature makes wear on the, on the engine. And this oil is supposed to be very stable under extreme temperatures, so. Let's see how this goes. And uh, you know, I'll update you along the way, but so far so good. And the people that I've talked to before even accepting this uh, sponsorship are just, you know, they just say it's, it's amazing. So I'm really excited about that. And the coolest thing about the sponsorship is that I get to make giveaways. And these aren't giveaways by Shell. These are giveaways by me. I am paying for it, okay? It's coming out of my wallet. Um, it's, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm so excited to give back. And the coolest thing is, if you guys keep participating in these giveaways and you keep commenting and let me know what it is you want me to give away, and you know, if you're liking the giveaways, things like that, the more participation we have, the more giveaways there'll be. And not only am I doing this free oil change giveaway, I'm also going to be doing these LED flares giveaway and this little package that I have. It is so cool. I have to put like a little snippet in here of what the package actually looks like because I wasn't able to grab it this morning because I wasn't able to get in my house. Somebody took the key um, that's watching my house so it wasn't there so I couldn't get in to get it but I am so excited about these things. I've had them for a little over a couple of months now. I've used them a couple of times and just I'm ecstatic about them. So I'm really excited. I talked to the company. Um, they're willing to give away three sets of them. And so we're going to be announcing that giveaway soon as well. And you know, if you have any other ideas about what more we can give away, go ahead and comment it below. Um, I would love to hear your suggestions. And I have a special, special thing at the end for you. I have wanted to go to this place since, I don't know, the first time I saw it. I just thought it was super cool. But um, without further ado, let's go see the dinosaurs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, look, there is windmills. I am so, see, I told you, I told you, I told you. Oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. <laughs> this is so ridiculously accurate. People feel you with doubt, just thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we. But this way station is on like a... Oh my gosh, no guy. I'm not kidding you guys, it looks exactly like that with the with the, um, the concrete barriers. Except they're actually like really close and you have like such a small... It looks very similar to that. It's not exactly like that, but it looks very similar. Funny thing is, in the 
the video game that I played the other day when I was coming uh, down this route. I was about to right here when I ran out of fuel in the game. I made it all the way from Portland to, this is uh, Green River, Utah, and I'm only at a half a tank. So I really don't need fuel all that badly, but there isn't a lot on the way from here to Dallas, and I just kind of wanted to stop here just so I could update that because I thought that was pretty cool. Over here and turn around. Because if we were really here, this is what we would do. Good gracious, I can't see anything. There we go. Much better. When possible, make a U-turn. Yeah, I'm doing it. This is what it looks like. This is Turned what up. it looks like. Poof. Um, if you know where I am right now. Kudos to you. You actually pay attention to my live streams. Um, I'm actually parked over there and uh, Moab is that way under the bridge and this is the alien place that I was talking about and I just had to stop here to let you guys know but this is where I was supposed to fuel in the in the game so I fueled in the game here but I can't fuel here in reality so I stopped a couple uh, miles before where do we go from where do we go from here? No one can save us, save us from keeping clear. I don't wanna lose you, I don't wanna lose you now. Cause there is only one thing, only one thing on my mind. Hey. Before you turn around and walk away Hey, hey Check out the baby dinosaurs Oh look, there's one standing up up there Oh, so cute Look, oh my gosh, he's got stuff on his head Look, he's got like a little hairdo Look at that hair Would you just look at that? <gasps> These things are so funny looking Oh, these are bigger. They're getting bigger. Oh, look at the teeth on this one. Would you look at those teeth? All right, check out this dinosaur. This guy, he's like, he's like a bird meets a lizard. Check it out. He's got freaking feathers. He's got feathers. And he's got a feather tail. This is the coolest tail I think I've ever seen. Oh, that's his behind. We shouldn't look at that. It's a cutie pie. What a cutie pie. He's got a yellow underbelly. There's no way they can know that he had a yellow underbelly. How do they know that? How do they know what color he was? Science. All right, for the main attraction, holy bejesus. I'm just gonna set you right here. Now run over there. Hopefully you can see me. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. Give me a sec. not be a fun time oh, almost done and man it's freaking hot oh. let me see I gotta roll this out all right this will probably be I don't know my last and final time here because it's at least in the summer it's freaking hot um, I might do the inside portion at some point but you guys can totally come do this especially if you have kids you see the building over there there's a parking lot right across the street from it. I fit a truck in. No problem. Thanks for coming with me today, guys. And uh, this will be the last of the video. I don't know if all the dinosaurs will be in this video, but if they are, cool. If they're not, then they'll probably be in some other video somewhere around my head. I'm not, I'm not sure where. But I really appreciate it. Please comment and let me know what you want for future giveaways, what you like about the giveaways, or if you don't like them at all, just. Leave a comment so that way I know. 
and uh, we can make this channel better. Also, remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys remember to enter the giveaway so that way you can win a free oil change or some road flares when those come available and whatever else you guys decide I should give away. Bye. more than 63. <laughs> Do you know of any good trucking companies in the Pacific Northwest? I'm in Seattle. Um, depends on what you want to do, Brock. Um, if you want to do local, if you want to do over the road, if you want to, it depends on what you want to do. And they have a new TA Express on there that had a dog park. They had a dog park where I actually, like, I pulled over and I took some time and I took Dakota over to the dog park and I actually have a video of this. Train bridge. Freaking love trains. I'm holding his hand. Got some junk in the truck. Alright, let's pet you. Good dinosaur. Good dinosaur. Maybe you like nose pets. What about that? You like nose pets. I think you like. Look at him, he's smiling! Maybe it's a platypus. It's a giant platypus. It's a Stegomasaurus. Stegopotus. This is a turkey dinosaur. But I think this dinosaur might eat me soon if I don't get out of here. So. Bye guys.